today we're going to be talking about how to find the polar equation of an ellipse. And in this particular problem, we've been told that the eccentricity is equal to 1 half, that the directrix is given by the equation r equals 4 times secant of theta, and that the conic's focus is at the origin, the point 0, 0. So the first thing we need to do is find an equation for the directrix in terms of either x or y, as opposed to r and theta. So the way that we're going to do it is try to solve this either for r cosine theta or r sine theta, because if we find r cosine theta in this equation, then we can substitute that for x. If we find r sine theta, we can substitute that for y. So what we're going to do here with the directrix is change this to r equals 4 over cosine theta, because remember that secant is equal to 1 over cosine, so 4 secant theta is the same as 4 over cosine theta. Now, if we multiply both sides by cosine theta, we get r cosine theta equals 4, and now we can make the substitution for r cosine theta of x, and we get x equals 4. Now we know that the equation of the directrix is the line x equals 4. So what that tells us, if we draw a quick sketch of our graph here, what that tells us, we know that the focus is at the origin here, 0, 0. We already know that. Our directrix is at the line x equals 4. So let's say that that's the line here, x equals 4, like this. Based on what we know about the directrix of an ellipse, we know that the ellipse itself has to wrap around the focus, between the focus and the directrix, and then curl back away from the directrix like this. And, you know, maybe the rest of the ellipse is like this or something. It doesn't particularly matter. But the point is that the ellipse is moving in this direction like this. And for an ellipse with that orientation, we know that the equation of the ellipse is the one we've written here, r equals e times d, where e is the eccentricity and d is the equation of the directrix, divided by 1 plus e times cosine theta, again where e here is eccentricity. If the orientation of the ellipse is opposite, either this way, or if it goes this way, or this way, then the equation is going to be different. But for one with our orientation, the equation we're using is this one here. So what we want to do now is just plug in the values that we know to our equation. And this is really simple. We just get r equals, we've already been told that eccentricity is 1 half, so we'll plug in 1 half for e. We found that d was equal to 4 because the equation of the directrix was x equals 4. So this means then that d equals 4 as well. So we get 4 for d, and then we divide by 1 plus, again, we get 1 half here, times cosine theta. Now we just want to simplify this as much as we can. Well, in the numerator here, 4 times 1 half gives us 2. In the denominator, we want to find a common denominator. So this 1 here in front will multiply by 2 over 2, and what we'll get is 2 over 2 plus 1 half times cosine theta is just cosine theta over 2. If we combine the terms in the denominator, we get 2 plus cosine theta all over 2. Now we have 2 divided by this fraction. So instead of dividing by the fraction, we can multiply by its reciprocal. So we get 2 times 2 over 2 plus cosine theta. We just flipped that denominator upside down. And when we distribute that 2, of course, we just get r equals 4 over 2 plus cosine theta. And that's it. This is the polar equation of the ellipse that has the given eccentricity, directrix, and focus. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.